All right, so let's move to the last part. Uh, here we will see the synchronizing and how to create the animation. Okay, so synchronizing 3D model. So uh, you can update your model and keep the assigned links between the model and the test by following these steps. So first you should choose navigator, external data, and then right click let's say you will import envelope again you have a, a updated design so you will choose that updated design and then choose the synchronize from and then choose the updated version and select open next and choose synchronize button so after the synchronization a report will appear showing the summary of all changes here you need to note these followings so all the objects imported the synchro before should be exported to the cat system again. So any objects that are deleted in the cat file will be deleted in the synchro after the synchronization. So these design changes, I mean, you really need to know and work with the design team uh, closely because, you know, maybe you link some activity to, to something in the model, but maybe they delete it or deleted it or um, add that edit again and change the id etc so you need to know all those changes to be able to link it again so all new objects will uh, import to sync into synchro but you should link the new objects so well that's really obvious if you haven't linked it before and if you have a new you know like object in the model of course you need to link it to to your program and all updated 3D model data should have the same and uh, global unique ID number to be recognized by Synchro. And this is uh, created automatically by CAT. So this is really important because, you know, when you put, when you import an updated model, you know, this is how like Synchro know that, okay, this object and this object are the same. Right, because if, if if you change the ID, it wouldn't be possible for Synchro to know. You know, these are the same objects, so you can change the exported file name. It's not going to affect any synchronization. So the important one is the IDs. In the next chapter, we will talk about synchronizing program.